Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Genie Wijnaldum card to try out today. So we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine with high, high work rates, right footed, four star skill moves with a three star weak foot. In regards to his traits, he only has the flare trait in regards to his in-game abilities. He's got 94 acceleration with 90 sprint speed, so you could potentially increase it if you want to, potentially. Um, in regards to shooting, he has 96 attacking positioning with 86 finishing, 96 shot power, which is all very, very nice for a midfielder if you want to use him as a center mid or as a center defensive mid, preferably on the right side. It's a shame they didn't give him the four-star weak foot. Um, because that would have been awesome for a card like Genie, but he does still have the four star skill moves, which is very, very helpful regardless. Um, in regards to passing, you don't necessarily need to improve it either. It actually looks really good. Dribbling on the card looks fantastic as well as a midfielder. If it was an attacker, you guys know I need my players to have 99s pretty much everywhere to be as responsive as possible. But considering the fact that this card is a five foot nine player with dribbling stats like that in the midfield area, we're looking at someone that could be a potential beast, right? Um, he does have defensive stats that are good for base card stats. Uh, and he also has very good physical stats as well for base card stats. So I think it's pretty obvious that in regards to the chemistry style that you would give someone like Genie Wijnaldum, uh, you would most likely give him the anchor chemistry style because if you want to have like this really cool rotation policy in your team where you're using him as a center defensive mid and the, on the right side or as a center mid for a 4-4-2, he could be really, really fun there as well. So in regards to how we're going to be lined up in game with this, a nice little Liverpool team that my boy Scruffy has over here, uh, we're going to be lined up with both of the formations. So we're going to have the 4-2-3-1 as one of the formations. So I'll show you guys how we will line up with that. Barnes will play... On the left side, Roberto Firmino playing through the middle with Salah playing on the right side. Fabinho will be playing left center defensive mid. Um, and then the instructions will just be stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. Stay back while attacking cover center for Fabinho. But for this one, we're only going to have cover center for Genie. And then Divock Origi, I like him on balance instructions. You guys should check out the review for that card afterwards. Um, and yeah, we'll just use that for the 4-2-3-1. Oh, just have to switch the stuff over here as well so five and four i like five and four five and four it's the best like formation and tactics to use for the review so i can test out the capabilities of a card uh but yeah we do want to use them on balance instructions for the four two three one just to see what he's like pushing forward coming back all that good stuff and then we will be using the four four two as well which i enjoy using depending on the formation that the opponent that i face like as you guys know i hate facing these defensive kids so using the four four two is definitely helpful against it uh, we'll be using Divock Origi up top with Barnes. We'll switch Salah off to the right side, and then we'll use Roberto. No, we'll, we'll use Barnes off to the left side, Fabinho over there, and then we'll have this set on five and five, balance five and four, formations or instructions. We'll just be stay back while attacking cover center for the CDM, stay back while attacking for the fullbacks, come back on defense for the left and right mids. Stay central, come back and defense, and then stay central, come back and defense. The only difference, again, is that we're going to have Genie Wijnaldum just on cover center because he's a high, high work rate player with good attacking presence, right? His attacking positioning is really good. He's got a finishing presence on the card, so if you get into good positions with him, he could potentially score some very nice goals for you. So, again, the only chemistry style that I'm going to slap on him for now is just going to be the anchor chemistry style because... I kind of suggested that would be the best one to give him, to be fair. Um, so we are going to go ahead and give that to him. And then once we get that going, we're going to get into a game, try him out with the 4 2 3 one first, and then we'll switch to the 4 4 2 afterwards. But uh, I don't know, man. This Liverpool team looks really cool. It's a shame that uh, we didn't get the road to the final Gomez card, but could be a potential SBC in the future. Who knows? So let's get into a game, see how he plays. I actually want to switch to the 4 uh, the 4 2 first. I want to test that one out first because I, I don't know, man. I love using midfielders in this formation. So let's try them out there first. Oh, dribbling on the cards are really nice. I like those base card stats for this card. It's getting way too close. Oh, no, we're not close enough there. Roberto Firmino with this finish. This is a really cool team to make, by the way. It's like the whole like Liverpool setup is really, really awesome. Uh, just because of the specific players you can put here and there, right? Uh... I think that in a 4-4-2 setup, players like Genie Wijnaldum, Fabinho, Roberto Firmino, Divac Origi are going to be really, really cool to use in. 
So you can see in that situation right there, Genie Wijnaldum super aggressive in that area. Roberto Firmino starts to occupy Genie's position, so that's why Genie starts to push upwards. But once Roberto Firmino goes back into position, Roberto Firmino does the exact same as well. So five star weak foot strike again. Too much power there. The power of the the power of the strike was good. It was more a matter of uh, the settle the settling touch right there that kind of screwed it up. It's this run that I look for right here. Oh man, I didn't register the ball afterwards. But you see how he starts to make that aggressive run? If the space makes sense for these types of center mids with really good attacking positioning or good attacking presence at all, um, they'll definitely do that pretty often. So, could be a cool thing to have there with Genie Wan and all of them, especially in the right center defensive mid or the right center mid position. Doing the, the scoop turn in those situations is always really, really nice. Good off the ball movement. We'll get the ball roll touch here. There we go. Nice little finish. So again, really, really nice to have the balanced instructions for players like Genie Wijnaldum. High, high work rates. The way that these types of dudes are going to utilize empty space is going to be really, really fun to use, especially since in my team right now, I have Fabinho being the medium high work rated CDM in the team, right? So it'll just cause us really good balance, especially in a formation like a 4-4-2. And it's very apparent there that his off the ball movement in the attack was really, really solid. Oh, look, this guy actually got Genie as well. He's got Fabinho in there, or Bruno Fernandes. Should be good. It's two strikers, so he actually might stay like this. So I think a 4-4-2 against this will be really nice, potentially. Oh, I love doing face shots and they don't register. You could tell that it's not going to register too, just the way your player starts to move. Wait for that specific run right there. Touch. Ah, a little bit of sluggish dribbling there with Barnes, but he's not the most responsive. Angled run. Nice. That's the one I expect, right? So I always like to analyze those specific runs right there because if the player just moves in a straight line, sometimes it suggests that their off-the-ball movement is not that good. Um, this is amazing, though. That's a terrible pass by my player right there, which is super unfortunate because that movement from Genie was amazing. Yep. It's so good that he does those runs, man. This card on bounce is going to be awesome. I want to see what he's like coming back in defense right here. You can see that he's actually pretty fast in regards to coming back. So the high, high work rates... I'm telling you guys, man, use this card in like a 4-4-2, play him on balanced or in a 4-2-3-1, and you're definitely going to notice a difference with a card like this. Like this situation right here, you see how Roberto Firmino starts to run to the bottom. Genie Wijnaldum was kind of like picking and choosing whether he should make that run into the middle, but regardless, he understands where the open space is, right? And that's exactly what you want these types of players to do constantly, right? If I make this pass right here, I need him to move a certain way after I make that pass, you know? I want to see what his middle movement is like here. Ah, uh, he plays off of Salah's dribble. That's really good. Boom. Scoop turn with the four-star skills. Really good dribbling there to open up the space for myself. Scoop again. Nice. In that situation, I shouldn't have scooped. I just like being able to do that while I'm standing still. It's a very, very effective skill move. Depending on the situation, you don't want to get those ones where it's like really close to them in the middle. You want to be able to scoop it from a distance. To get certain opportunities. This guy's moving like crazy all over the pitch, man. Oh my god, I love this card on balanced. I don't even want to use him in a 4-2-3-1 because like he's just meant to play like an actual center mid in the game. It's so fun. Shot from there. Oh. The shot right there, not necessarily the greatest. I should have taken a touch upwards and then go for more power across goal. Um, but man, this card's fun to use, dude. It's one of those things where it's like you may not even want to give him an anchor chemistry style because you may just want to improve him attacking-wise because his base card stats for physical and defense is actually pretty solid. I like that he doesn't overcommit in these situations either. It just makes sense for that he doesn't, so he won't. You know what I'm saying?
how does he move after over here? So if I go here, ah, I see. So Salah starts to occupy. Oh my God. One more. Ah, the player should be making a better run right there. 100% should be making a better run. My dude, that attacking play, that's where it's like you have to rely on attacking AI. And it's not necessarily the player's fault because attacking AI in this game is very linear. But dude, that, that play right there should have resulted in a goal. Wijnaldum is so good with rotating players on the attack. It's actually insane. Uh, but what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm gonna be doing right now, is I'm gonna switch him to the four-two-three-one again on balance instructions, and I want to see, I want to see what he's gonna be like on the balance instructions in that position. I might actually be able to score right here. Nope. I love how smart he is, dude. I'm telling you guys, use this guy in your midfield. The way he goes into space. For the midfield position is awesome. Okay, so I think this guy is instantly switching to his super defensive tactics. It's pretty far back there right now, so I might actually have to switch to the 4-2-3-1 again because against teams like this, you need to be able to spread out the play as well as use your two strikers playing through the middle, right? So 4-2-3-1s are usually not ideal. Like situations like this, having that little bit of Little bit of middle space is uh, ideal. Origi's off the ball movement I should have utilized right there, actually. His characteristic traits for the 4-2-3-1 and the 4-4-2 is going to be the exact same. So if you use him on the balance instructions, he will attack. Um, because of the fact that he's a high, high work rate player with good attacking positioning. Um, defensively... He's probably not going to be as, as physical as someone like Robert, uh, as, uh, excuse me, as uh, Fabinho's card, obviously. That's not really what you play this card for. You play him as the box-to-box -box oriented center mid player, right? So he's not going to have that physical presence in the defensive mid position, but he'll be really good at being able to do both uh, the attack and the defense whenever you need him to, right? So you can even see in this situation right now, it would be more ideal to have a two striker set up so I can be able to do stuff like this. Ball roll touch. Maybe get that pass off there. Yeah, so I need to switch to the 4-4-2 against this guy. It'd be nice to be able to just score that consistently, but I don't know if that's going to go in because of the way that shooting works. But Yep, aggressive enough right there. That was good. That was a really good play right there. Origi, man. Great little movement right there with him. Score that opportunity. Switch to a 4-4-2. Instantly get the goal back. That's why it's good, man, to always have different formations to be able to counter against people that play a certain way. Because the 4 2 3 one's not good for everything, right? It just depends on the situation. It's just a really good formation to be balanced in regards to attacking and defending, you know? Again, man, the attacking presence that Wijnaldum has on those balance instructions allows him to get into a position where I can score that opportunity. Plus five for acceleration, plus five for sprint speed. It's brilliant, man. It's, he, he, his attacking positioning is already really good with the work rate, so he'll get into that position for you, you know? All right, boys, so sorry for the late uploads today. The power in my house went out for a solid two or three hours because it was storming like crazy over here. But, ladies and gentlemen, regards to Genie Wijnaldum's card for 151k... The card performs really, really well. I loved using him with the anchor chemistry style just because of that balance that he has in regards to me using him as a center mid, as a center defensive mid. Depending on the situation of the game, I'm going to want to rotate the card accordingly uh, because, you know, in a 4-4-2 setup, I can expect this card to be moving all over the pitch in the attacking areas, especially since he has the 96 attacking positioning. Now, I think the anchor chemistry style makes the most sense. You can see that most people are giving him the anchor as well. A gladiator wouldn't necessarily be terrible either. A gladiator is this one over here. Because gladiator would be boosting his shooting as well as his defending, right? So if you feel like he doesn't really require the extra pace and you don't really care about boosting the physical part of the card at all, boosting the shooting could be an ideal thing to do as well because, again, if you're going to be using him as a balanced uh, center mid or center defensive mid, he will find himself in positions where he's going to want to score. So, you know, increasing shot power finishing could be something that you may want to do. It really depends on what you look for mostly with these types of cards. But for me personally, I think the anchor chemistry style makes the most sense because 
You're also giving him the plus five for acceleration, plus five for sprint speed, as well as a defensive and physical boost. This plus 10 for aggression is an absolutely massive thing. I'm totally cool with him having 96 base shot power with 86 finishing and 96 composure playing as one of my midfielders in a center mid position or CDM position. You could totally tell him to stay back while attacking, but if you tell him to stay back while attacking, don't expect him to never attack because... 96 attacking positioning with the high high work rates he's going to attack from time to time but it could cause like a really really good balance in your team to be fair because here's the thing that's really cool about high high work rated players right and i have this kind of set up in my main team with like lauren blanc and bruno fernandes you know the portuguese hybrid i have bruno fernandes with his high high work rates playing in the left center mid position in the 442 and then lauren blanc playing on the right side both on stay back while attacking cover center, but Bruno Fernandes is more attacking oriented. So from time to time, he still will push up because I don't like when they, if one person strictly pushes up depending on the situation of the game, because sometimes you don't always want that one guy to push because then it keeps this midfield area super open for the person to go on the counterattack. And as you guys know, that's usually what most people do in this game to try to get their W's. So... In regards to Genie Wine, all them guys, I think the price is awesome for the quality that he offers in game. I think both of these SBCs are really cool. Obviously, this card being 40, 50k extra or on top of the Origi is a way better deal, but Origi was still kind of fun too. And if you guys haven't checked out that review, be sure to do so because uh, that's going to be on the main channel before this one, I believe. So, uh, yeah, again, sorry guys for the late upload. This freaking, the power just went out you know just freaking went out but the anchor chemistry style is gonna be the best on him guys i'm gonna try my best to work on these cards because of all this sbc stuff they have in the menus and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this v review i will catch you guys for the next video peace out dudes love you guys